Hi, I'm Mike Savalon. Welcome back to the Guideline GDPR journey. This time we're talking about rights. Now, this is perhaps the key part of GDPR. It's all about giving individuals more rights with what's done with their data. So it's really important that we get it right. Now, we're thinking of this in three steps, really. First step is you need to tell people about their rights. Um, the second step, really, you need to enable people to exercise those rights. And then finally, you need to have a process in place um, to enable to support and follow up those requests. So let's start with telling people about their rights and let's take a look at the guideline privacy notice. So here we are at the guideline privacy statement on our website and we've tried to keep this as clear and as simple and as tra transparent as possible. So if we scroll down to the section on rights, we've listed the rights that people have so people can see what data we hold on them, they can ask for it to be corrected, they can receive a copy of the data, they can ask us to delete it, they can object to what we're doing with it, and they can complain to the supervisory authority. And we've tried to describe it in plain English rather than using the GDPR terms. So if we were to tell people about the right to portability or the right to restriction, then that's uh, kind of difficult for people to understand who perhaps aren't aware of the GDPR. So that's how we tell people about their rights. The next step is enabling those rights. So there are a number of routes that customers and individuals can take. They can, as it says here, they can email privacy at guideline.com. They can write to us, our address is on every page of our website. They can contact us via our contact form or they can phone us via our phone number. But we've also set up a subject access request form. And if we take a look at this, this deals specifically with information requests. And so we've created a simple form that asks the individual what the request is in relation to. And is it for obtaining a copy of information? Is it for having information corrected? Is it for having information deleted? Or is it a complaint about our service? And then finally, any other requests that they have. So they might choose to obtain a copy. There's a space for them to um, enter any further information. So I need information for a reference, as an example. They then enter their name and their email and company. And then we're very careful to explain to them, as part of this process, what we're going to use the information for, how quickly we're going to respond to them, so initially within 24 hours, and then ideally completing the whole information request within seven days. And then the format we're going to reply, provide the information in, and the fact that if they want, they can write to us for a hard copy. And then the individual can submit that request. That request, along with letters, emails, and contact forms, go through to our support desk, where we have support processes that support the enablement of rights for individuals. So there you have it. That's how we at Guideline have dealt with rights. So we tell people about them via our privacy notice. We enable people to act on their rights via email or writing to us, but really via our subject access request process. And then we follow that up and back it up with support desk processes that enable us to respond in the right way. So really hope you found that useful. Next time we're talking about data minimization, but until then, we hope you find your compliance simple.